Since 1990, there have been more than 2,500 bird strikes at JFK alone. The number of strikes annually reported has increased more than five-fold from 1990 to 2010. Experts say bird strikes are an increasingly serious problem. They cause an estimated $600 million in damage to planes every year. But you can't put a value or price on the loss of life. Millions of businessmen and women are taking commuter flights every day. Just imagine the risk they're taking. Flocks of birds, like the one that brought down Captain Sullenberger's flight that landed in the Hudson River, have been blamed for scores of small plane crashes and at least two major U.S. aviation disasters. The objective of the Bartle Research Anti-Bird Strike Convention is to dramatically reduce the incidence of bird strikes on aircraft and their engines. It doesn't matter if the aircraft is landing, taking off, climbing, or at cruising altitude. The technology we are developing will save lives and reduce costly repairs. No matter how qualified pilots are, a bird strike to an aircraft engine is something they cannot control. The in-flight application of this invention will also act like a bird snowplow, clear in the air in front of the aircraft two to three miles. Here is a brief video that explains some of the conventional methods that are currently being used to clear birds off runways. Lush and green. In fact, it's called Tree City USA. But this small base has a big problem because of the trees. Some people call me the bird man, yeah, they how, sure do. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's okay. I've been called worse. <laughs> Birdman Mike Pacheco is actually a U.S. Department of Agriculture employee hired by Randolph to keep the flight line as bird-free as possible. With all the foliage making up Tree City USA, it's a huge task. He utilizes passive and active methods as part of an integrated wildlife management program. One passive measure simply involves riding in his truck with speakers that blast sounds of various predatory birds, like falcons and hawks, as well as the sounds of birds in distress. In theory, the sounds will scare the birds away. That's not always the case, though. In fact, even the roar of jet engines screaming down the runway doesn't seem to phase some of the birds. Besides the bird noises that blare from Mike's truck, he has another bird-scaring technique pyrotechnics. Banger guns, cannon fire. Sometimes they keep the birds away and sometimes they don't. The last thing I need is for this bird to get in one of the engines or cause an event that's going to be a, a safety hazard. That has happened before on Randolph. A little bit in the summertime watching for birds. In January, a bird flew into a T-38 engine during takeoff. The price tag to get that aircraft up and running again? Oh, nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Thankfully, no one was hurt in that incident. After this next segment, I'd like to bring on Bob Bartle, the founder of Bartle Research and the inventor of the anti-bird strike invention. But first, a little bit more about Bob. Bob is a veteran of the United States Air Force. During part of his active duty, he was responsible for safety flight conditions, which included maintaining jet engine test equipment and the electronics of each aircraft. While stationed at Edwards Air Force Base in California, he had direct contact with the National Bureau of Standards and supported research and development aircraft. During this assignment, he designed a modification for the TFX fighter, the F-111. This modification made possible an additional 9,800 flying hours per year. The F-111 was the first swing wing aircraft in history. General Dynamics completed the modification that Bob developed prior to acceptance by the United States Air Force. He currently holds four scientific patents, but considers this anti-bird strike invention one of his best due to its ability to save lives.
Hi, I'm Bob Bartle, founder and president of Bartle Research and the inventor of the Bartle Mag Probe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn by using the email bartlemagprobe at gmail.com or give me a call at 208-321-7566. One of the facts about bird strikes is there were 2,586 bird strikes annually at JFK Airport alone. And the numbers are increasing at an alarming rate. That was only at one airport. I can't even imagine what the number is globally. So we decided to invent a device to repel birds using an invisible barrier that would not harm the birds and could easily be set up. All I need is to talk with Boeing, Airbus, or any executives in the airline industry to present my idea. My invention will absolutely work and I can prove it within seven days. I have already proven one method and have two other methods I know will work. So if you want to dramatically reduce bird strikes, give me a call at 208-321-7566 or email me at bartlemagprobe at gmail.com. What do you got to lose?